Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back! I've got a box from Sugar Muses. I don't know which box this is. You'll know before me because I will have titled it by now. <laughs> it's either the uh, Sugar Muses Deluxe or the Midnight Muses Deluxe. Thank you, Christy, for the PR box. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm very excited to see what's inside. Okay, so hello and welcome, guys. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lisa. And on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, which mostly include unboxings. There are a few other things, and if I could ever get off my butt... <laughs> to do other things, there'll be more. I keep wanting to, like, I will go to bed and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can make this video and I could do this, I could do this. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and I'm like, my couch. <laughs> uh, if I'm not working, I'm usually laying on my couch. Well, it's actually not my couch. It is a big, huge chair that I bought um, when I first moved in to this house. Um, it is like oversized. It could fit like at least two people in it, if not maybe like two people and a small child or something. <laughs> and me and my dog love this chair. And it's got like a matching ottoman. Anyways, it's super comfortable and it's my favorite. Okay, I've got like, where'd this one come from? Okay, I've got like oracle cards sitting out <laughs> everywhere from drawing cards. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the Midnight Muses Lux, and our theme is Mystical Journey. Okay, so it's got the contents, which I'm gonna avoid looking at, and it says May's Magic. The month of May was named for the uh, Greek goddess uh, Maya. In Greek, Maya means good mother. A variation of the name is also sometimes spelled, so it's either spelled M-A-I-A -A or M-A-Y-A. -A. She was the daughter of uh, Atlas, a titan who was responsible for bearing the weight of the heavens on his shoulders, and mother of Hermes, the messenger of gods. In later times, Maya became strongly associated with the Roman goddess Bonadia, whose name literally translates as good goddess. Today, Maya is strongly associated with Gaia, Mother Earth, and is a symbol of growth, fulfillment, and nurturing. She is the queen of flowers, the gentle hand that coaxes the flora and vegeta oh, can't speak. vegetation, vegetation, <laughs> to break through the soil in spring. Uh, May correlations, uh, deities are Artemis, Bast, Diana, Faunus, Flora, Maya, Pan, and Venus. May food... May, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. May full moon. It's because my brain and my mouth don't work together. <laughs> the flower moon. Uh, gemstones are emerald, aventurine, rose quartz, amethyst. Botanicals are lily of the valley, foxglove, rose, broom, and lavender. Keywords. Foresight. Wisdom. Springtime and increase. Spell work and ritual work would be divination. Spells for wisdom and abundance. On a personal note, May has always been a special month for me. It is my birth month. Happy birthday, Christy. Hope you had a wonderful birthday if it's already over with. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful birthday coming up. Anyways, okay. And it was my mom's birth month as well as my grandmother's. Wow. It is, of course, the month that celebrates Mother's Day. May's magic seems to personify the traits associated with mother energy, nurturing, comforting, and supportive. I appreciated these traits in my mom. She was also extremely creative, an amazing gardener, a strong clairvoyant and psychic. She loved the color purple. Same girl. Her favorite botanical was lavender and favorite gemstone, amethyst. My mystical journey started with her, and now I continue to carry her essence and magic with me as I continue down my life's path. So this month, I hope you don't mind what I brought. I hope you don't mind that I brought some of her to the May's mystical journey box, of course not. Okay, enough about my journey already. This month we honor the Divine Feminine, personified as Mother Energy. Mother Energy is a presence, a cosmic feminine energy that surrounds us, residing in even the smallest cracks and crevices of the earth. She is the very earth that holds us our entire lives, supporting our very, excuse me, our every move, nurturing us as we grow. She is the creative life force within all of us. So while harnessing May's magic, what do you want to create in your life? Divination can sometimes be a useful guide if you are at a crossroads and are unsure about which path to take. One common form of divination is rune casting, such as the Elder Futhark. 
They were from ancient civilizations and were used as part of the written language of the day. The witch's runes have no clear origin, however, they are a modern creation. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you're called to do. Okay. Um, all right, and then it has um, what's in here. First, we have some artwork. So we've got this one. Very nice. I'm sure that it just says, um, it just says Mystical Journey Art Prints, place on your altar or add to your Book of Shadows or Grimoire. So we have this one and then we've got this one. And it says Mystical Journey, vast mysteries of life's unknowns begin to show for within this magical world, there is no end as the wandering witch ventures out to start again. Love. Okay, then I have my um, intuitively drawn uh, either tarot or oracle card. Okay, it's a tarot card. First off, I've got some stickers, some leaves that, oh, there's more than one in here, that I will probably put on my cabinet over here. Woo! There we go. All right, and I got the Six of Swords, and it says Lord of Earned Success on the bottom down here and then there's the backs of the cards and this is um the hermetic tarot deck by godfrey dowson and you can um find this on sugarmuses.com website and it says you know you could look for the meaning of your card or info on this deck take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has to you and if any insight it may bring um not right the second it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> but I'll think about it. <laughs> All right. First off, we have some lavender. We didn't expect anything less than that. And guys, I do, if you're unfamiliar with my store, Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy, it is linked below. It says my witchy store, I believe. If you, um, if you are interested in herbs, I do sell uh, one ounce baggies. I also sell them in little um, jars. I don't think I have one in here right now. But I do sell them in little glass jars with the cork. Um, if you guys ever wanted those and it appears that I'm out of a herb, just message me. I'm probably not out of the herb, but I'm low on jars. So I don't specifically have that. I've got them ready. You know what I mean? Unless I've already packed them up. So, um, you can always contact me, but I sell herbs. All right. Let's see if she said anything about the lavender. Dried lavender. Magical properties. The historic use of lavender dates back hundreds of years. It was used to induce sleep and was said to promote long life, peace, grant wishes for protection, love, and purification. It is thrown onto the midsummer fires as an offering to the ancient gods and goddesses. In Spain and Portugal, it is used for strewing the flowers, excuse me, the floors of churches and houses on festive occasions or to make bonfires on St. John's Day when evil spirits are supposed to be abroad. Growing lavender in your garden is said to bring good luck. Studies have shown a decrease in stress and pain levels after breathing in lavender oil for five minutes. There are so many ways to use lavender in your magical practice. It can be burned to purify and promote psychic abilities. It can be used in ritual baths, added to stovetop potpourri to create a peaceful and tranquil environment, added to sachets for peaceful sleep and dreams, or mixed with white vinegar for a household antiseptic wash. All right, and then we have some Palo Santo incense. Very nice. I wonder, I guess you just light it? I mean, it's incense. It just has like a short little thing. I don't know exactly what you put that into. I guess it would probably sit in my little incense thing. All right, so. Mm, where is it? Oh, there it is. Use in a fireproof incense burner. Incense can be burned at the beginning of rituals, meditation, or spells to cleanse your space and to set the intentions of your ritual. The smoke naturally cleanses and charges your crystals, altar, and represents the element of air as well as fire. It is said that when a spell is done, it raises a spell up into the ether. Palo Santo is known to raise your vibrations in preparation for meditation and allows for a deeper connection to the source. It is also said that Palo Santo enhances creativity and brings good fortune and it's ethically sourced. Very nice. 
All right. Oh gosh, there's something amazing in here. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> I don't want to show you guys just yet. Then we have this Crown Chakra Ritual Salts. Very nice. Let's smell them. There we go. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Crown Chakra Ritual Salts. Mm. Okay, that smells good. The Crown Chakra is associated with spirituality, divine wisdom, enlightenment, connection to the universe, imagination, awareness, and optimism. It is the center of connecting to something greater than oneself. When the crown chakra is balanced, one feels strong, unclouded, and has a joy for life. When your crown chakra is balanced, you will feel more connected to your higher self and the divine. It helps to increase your sense of spirituality, allowing you to gain greater insight into life, the universe, and your place in all things. It also helps to reduce feelings of fear and confusion, allowing you to trust in the divine path and move forward in life with greater ease. Salt can be used in purification spells and baths, placed on your altar, used to cast circles, or to clean your gemstones and crystals. Just place your gemstones on a bed of salt overnight. Contains dead sea salt, dried rosemary, lavender essential oil, and shimmery mica. Yes. Fun. Okay. And then, oh, how lovely. We've got a sachet that has um, a mini palm stone. Actually, this is wonderful. I have been looking for smaller palm stones um, because I am at the tail end of my crystal healing course through um, Hibiscus Moon and I bought a thing to hold like all my chakra stones. I wanted like some smaller palm stones um, and maybe I will do a video. <laughs> I always say this shit and then never do it. Okay, maybe I will actually for reals do this video. Um, but I was really wanting to find a couple more crystals and then I'll do it. But I've got some chakra um, items that I'm gonna be using when I do chakra balancing with um, crystals. And so this is going to be wonderful and I'm gonna include this because I needed an amethyst, right? I don't think I had an amethyst. No, I don't. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Anybody want a chakra balancing once I'm done? All right, it says tumbled amethyst, but to me, this is a small palm stone. Amethyst, thank you, Christy, it's beautiful. Amethyst has been in existence since the ancient Greek civiliz civilization and is steeped in legend and lore. Excuse me, folklore. It is said... I don't know you. <laughs> I sent it to voicemail, guys. All right. Um, it is said to shield against toxic emotions such as anger and anxiety. It is also said to soothe feelings of stress and sadness. Its inherent high frequency purifies the aura of any negative energy or attachments and creates a protective shield of light around the body, allowing one to remain clear and centered while opening to spiritual direction. It is the perfect gemstone to have around when doing any kind of divination work. I'm gonna put that up there so I can charge it. All right, and then we have um, a purple beeswax candle. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Mystical Sight Beeswax Candle. Purple candles enhance psychic abilities, making them perfect to burn during tarot readings, ceremony seeking guidance from ancestors or spirit guides, and during any divination ritual. Placed on your altar, they can be used to invoke the element of fire. Never leave burning candles and be safe and all that shit. Okay. <laughs> Set that over there. Okay. Oh, we got two. Or at least I did. Did everybody get two? Cool. I, I love symmetry. So we're good. <laughs> All right. Let me see what else. We have a lot of crinkle paper that will be fed to our crinkle paper monster. I would assume that there's some... Okay, there is another thing in here that I'm missing. Okay, so this would be our oil, and y'all know that I love these oils so much. We've got Flower Moon. It says Lavender and Sage. You know I'm going to slather myself. Hold on. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Yes. Very botanical. Mmm. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, I love, God, I love her oils. They're so good. Okay, let's see what it says. Flower Moon Ritual Oil. Shake, oh, shake gently before using. Anoint your pulse points or your entire body, as I always do. Uh, it contains essential oils of lavender and sage and an almond oil base. Oils can also be used in ritual baths to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools. Because this oil is free of alcohol, phthalates, and other chemicals, I suggest using within six months. Shake gently before using. Store in a cool place, not exposed to heat or direct sunlight, which break down the essential oils for external use. They always say patch test, and I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> All right, let's set this over here. There's something else that I wanted to find before I showed you guys the big mama jamma. Hold on, let me just set this over here. I want you guys to see this. Okay. Um, all right, well, maybe I'm missing it. I just want to make sure it's not like stuck in the crinkle paper, but Chrissy, thank you for all this crinkle paper. I will recycle it. <laughs> okay. I think I'm missing. There was a, um, supposed to be, unless it's inside this other thing. Well, let's look inside here. Okay. You guys ready? First off, I got, um, I got a little, I'll show you this paper in a minute. You know, it was kind of hard to see just looking down on it because there's like a lot of bright lights, but that is a pentacle on the front. There's more than one pentacle. So you get this big one and then there's small ones. And then here's the, oh, look, there's a pentacle. Oh, how beautiful. And then it's got like a, a velvety bottom. So there's the little latch. Oh, okay. The other thing is inside here. Okay. I thought I was missing something. So inside, first off, I have some lemon mint herbal tea. That sounds wonderful. I love, um, minty teas. I'm going to drink this here in a minute, actually. Um, okay. Let's see what it says about it. Lemon mint herbal tea. Lemon mint has metaphysical properties of cleansing, promoting clarity, increases intuition and psychic abilities, promoting abundance, visions, and dreams. Brew and enjoy this tea after rituals <laughs> and spells to help ground yourself. I've included a muslin bag to use with your loose tea, which is right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I guess I won't drink it just yet. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it after a ritual. All right. Or a spell. Then we have this bag and you guys can only guess what's inside. Thank you for the purple tassel. I wonder if I can reuse it. How fun. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm going to take that purple tassel. We're going to do something with it. <laughs> and inside we have uh, witches' runes. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, fun. Okay, so we've got this paperwork that has um, the meanings for the witches' runes. And then we'll be able to keep it in our beautiful box. Okay, let me show you each one. So I will hold this up and then let me tell you what they mean. Which one is this? Huh. I don't know what this one goes to. We're gonna put that aside for a minute. Um, all right, so this obviously is an eye here. An eye. Um, maybe I will just show you each one and then I'll draw one and that's the one that we will get. This is the one I didn't really see it on the paper, but maybe I'm crazy. Um, I guess I'll put it back in the bag and then we'll draw one out. All right. And then we've got this. Who knows if I've got these upright or not. So we have a blank one. This. These are so cool. So, and here's the backs, like they're, they're just like a nice wood. And then it's got the like little doodlies around and then it's got the symbol in the middle. Very nice. And did you, you saw how th they're, um, how thick they are. All right. And then that one, 
this guy. A little moon. And then I don't know which way it goes, but okay. So, oh, never mind. I just saw that one that I couldn't <laughs> couldn't tell what it was. Okay, so what message do we need today? Okay, I got one, I got one. Oh, it's the blank one. Now what do I do? <laughs> I don't even think that okay, hold on. Um, she has a hold on, hold on. Oh, let's read about this box. So it says, silver embossed wood treasure box. This box features a beautiful hand embossed surface and black velvet lining. Each one is individually finished and can be used to hold your runes, tarot, or other magical tools. Place a quartz crystal inside to cleanse and charge items. I have a nice quartz um, that I could put in there. Okay. Um, let me see if she says anything particular about the runes, salt, retro oil, lavender, candle, amethyst. Uh, oh, witch's runes. So witch's runes are simple pictograms that match concepts with symbols that are more understandable than the Elder Futhark runes. Since the witch's runes are not an ancient script, they have no special pronunciation or sound. The titles of the runes are in English. These handmade runes have 14 runic tab uh, tablets, 13 runes with printed runic inscriptions and one blank rune. The blank rune is silence, the zero, the void of infinite possibility. Okay. Um, that's what we got. <laughs> infinite possibility. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. And then she actually gives you a little divination ritual in here. Um, to use like all the supplies that we got here. So that's super awesomely cool. And I will put all my stuff back in my little box. And that's the ritual I'm gonna do later. And drink my tea. So <laughs> that is it guys for the Midnight Muses Lux from sugarmuses.com. I will link them below. And also if you do use my link, and I would appreciate if you would, um, if you decide to purchase one of these boxes, it does give me a kickback. Um, uh, Christy has allowed me to be an affiliate and I love, love, love her for that so much and I appreciate the PR box. It really helps me out. Right now I'm really trying to get some bills paid off so I'm not purchasing any boxes. Um, but, you know, I hope to get back to that at some point. So, anyways, I thank you guys so much for tuning in to me. I know my videos are few and far between these days. I hope to get back to doing some things and um, maybe if you guys wouldn't mind sending me some... Um, some uh, energetic vibes. <laughs> Send some energy my way <laughs> and then maybe I will do some other videos because it, it is been on my mind so much to create more videos. So anyways guys again I thank you for being uh, loyal subscribers and watchers of my channel and if you're not a current subscriber and you kind of think I'm kind of cool or something I don't know. It would be awesome if you would subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. All those things really help out. The thing that really helps out YouTubers, guys, is interacting with those ads that you see. YouTubers don't get paid unless you interact. So um, I thank you guys for everything that you do. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.